Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 and we are in Germany with a new park build which is quite simply going to be a zipline park. I'm going to use um, the ziplines to get from each section of the park kind of like how the I'm guessing how the tour rides kind of work if you have something going to the other side then you'll be able to shoot around. Um, I don't think you can do them in Avery's. But I think you can do them over lagoons, and then down here will probably just be a bit of something. So, hope, and I want to see if this will uh, count towards transport rating. So that'll be quite interesting. So let's get started. Um, we need a entrance. So how are we gonna? I think we should use the Jurassic Park one. You could put this right in this corner. Now I've chosen Germany because you get a lot of park for what it is. Let's move that down. Yeah, you get a lot. Of, you get a lot of area to build in. I'm thinking I could do a bit of a safari exhibit around here. And I can put an exhibit down here. Exhibit up here. Maybe something down here. Maybe a lagoon. A lagoon by the beach. Laguna Beach, we can call it. So uh, let's carry on with this. We will need... What else will we need? Um, ba -ba 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 I'm just thinking... Um, I'm gonna need a hatchery, of course. And with we us being in Germany, I think we should use the biosim hatchery along with some of the uh, biosim uh, over the the other biosim buildings. So yeah, this will be fine as well around here. Smooth this off. It can be up on a, a rocky section. This can follow the curvature of the Of that and then if I go to attractions sweet so let's see if this works this will be my experiment if this park is gonna work I'm gonna loop this around here No path to building. Well, there is a path to a building because you're. Oh, there's no path to it because it hasn't been hooked up. Foolishness. It works. So, yeah. Um, how fun for the staff. I have to uh, zip line to get to work. And they shouldn't have gone zip lining. Nice little hide away. Let's do additional bays and we'll do advanced equipment. So that's that's cool. That works. I like that. Um, I'm going to put more of this kind of trees around here. Well, that didn't actually do anything. Maybe some paleo trees. Since they don't do anything. Hmm. 
Mm, decoration trees. We'll put these around. And we'll get rid of those trees. And we'll put the wild plants around. And we'll have the rock kind of bleed down here a bit. So that's pretty neat. They will have to walk to some locations, but not all of them. Because so again, what I'm thinking is if this is going to be like a safari exhibit, then. Yeah, so that's not going to have a zip line going to it. That's so I'm gonna Yeah, I'll leave that this side bare. Because what I can do for the guests I can put a biosim Ow. Biosim one there, maybe put that there, maybe put a toilet there. The trees around. And then over this side, maybe we can put a operations building. That's going to be too big. Yeah, that's all too big. All too big. Hmm, I should have planned that out a bit better. Bear with me one moment. I always forget to do that. So what can I put in there? Oh, that went blue. Hmm. 
That went blue, but it looks hideous. It looks absolutely hideous. And that, of course, is going to be way too big. If I put that there... Um, one, two, that's ah, not going to work. Maybe a couple of mediums might. This can be like a bit of a guess courtyard kind of thing yeah that'd be neat I want to keep the, the side hidden from out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. And then we'll look at raising one section, that'll be the lower section. This can be a higher, well it's already a higher section. Maybe ah uh, oh no I'll I'll make this a much higher section once I get to the right bit we'll flatten this out that's all fairly cool Do a little painty job up there. Maybe bleed onto the bleed onto there. So what am I going to make first? Do I want a herbivore enclosure? Do I want a Do I want a carnivore enclosure? Actually, you know what I don't use that much? I don't use the um, Quintosaurus. I'm going to use that. I'm going to do a Herrerasaurus enclosure as well. I don't use Herrerasaurus. And Herrerasaurus is cool. Uh, make it a little bit humble, make it a bit sociable, make it strong, defensive, healthy. Let's see how many we get out of this. We got five, so let's select some eggs.
So I'm thinking I can build an enclosure around around here. Now the thing with the now the thing with the enclosures is I need to I need to put the we're in Germany, of course they would have concrete. I need to make sure I've got enough space back here for some guest facilities so they can zip line back and around. And say so it's not going to have it like it's not going to be like you know it's, it's, you got to have something to go there for. Oh, it could just just be a. Or it could just be somewhere to hang out. Maybe just beautiful scenery. It doesn't need to have like guest facilities up the yaya. -ya. Follow this around. So, my main, main, main issue is going to be... But to be fair, they do cover a lot of the... Can have it kind of going that way. can kind of put something over this way because I'm going to need something to connect these to otherwise they won't have any uh... I don't think you want to be ziplining into a hotel around here we can put an attraction Come and visit the aquarium. No, nah, not the aquarium. Have a spa day. Namaste. And of course, there's no path at the moment because I need to connect that up. We'll go to Jurassic Park. We'll have a concrete roof. Have the entrance in the middle. Uh, something a bit zenny. Fountains, because, you know. Namaste.
of a classic toilet. You know what? I don't... Oh, it just demolishes it all. I didn't know that being there. Very sen, all very beautiful. So let's start doing our enclosure for our Herreras. I want to lower this section down. section there. Gonna put some trees around here. Maybe some trees down here. I've used this rock around here, so we'll put, we'll make this into a, a rocky pond. Some rocks around the outsider here. This can be like a rock shelf. I should be able to do more Herosaurus technically. I think I should put more in. Let's airlift these in at the moment. I can put some feeders in. of a pride rock kind of thing. Let's just go and select them. Do they need anything special? Open space and forest. So no, they don't really need anything ooh and ah -y. We've got the plenty of ooh and the ah.
put some ground leaf around the side because I like how sometimes you get the lugs like that. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable, and hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Well, you say that. Now, what we have here is a Herrerasaurus. It's a carnivore and a spectacular addition to our dinosaurs. It just requires a little TLC. To be fair, I think we've got plenty of TLC. So I put that in that, and then... That's hideous. That's an interesting colour pattern. Oh, they've killed a goat in the in the bushes. So we'll get a few guest facilities up here as well. Now I don't think I'm going to get the uh I don't think I'm going to get many amenities around this this section but you never know You know what I should do because this is a zipline park. We should have ziplines going up and down. After all, you got a zip line to get everywhere, so yeah. Defeats the purpose if it's not a zip line. So, for 10 Horrorosaurus, that is massive. Which 
We don't mind. We like it to be massive. I'm not gonna have enough space. That's a shame. Can I get a medium one in there? That'd be good. If I can get a medium. It was going blue a moment ago. Transportation complete. There we go. And because they can get in either side. So, yeah, this is looking pretty neat. I like the concept. Um, I could do a zip line going up towards this section as well for when I do the safari enclosure, which is going to pretty much take up this entire area. Um, which would be fun. I need to do a couple of large carnivores. Lagoon down there. I don't know if I'm going to do an Avery. We'll see. We'll see. It's a work in progress, but it's looking pretty cool. We have our almost our ten Horovasauruses going in. We have people going over. Let's let's ride it. To our spa section. Uh, in the next episode, I'll do the colours for these. We'll uh, we'll also do these as well. We need some big attractions, which we'll get once once this opens up. We'll concentrate on the safari zone next time. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.